fight with a rib injury. Uh, he, he, he made no... Uh, yeah, he, 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 he injured his ribs and, um, you know, he actually took about a week and a half off from training, you know, to uh, to let him heal. And, uh, you know, most fighters would have pulled out of a fight at that point. But uh, he said, no, man, he wanted this fight. He had trained hard for it. He prepared himself for it. Um, you know, he rested up. He came back into training and felt fine. And uh, and here he is, man, a warrior, you know. Man, tough, confident. Yeah, go. good knees there by Bobby. Over under by both guys. Both guys jockeying for position. Oh, Bobby, Bobby with the body nice, shot. Yeah, nice knee to the body there on Matt Holmes. Immediately, Bobby goes into a guillotine, top position, looking to finish right away. He's going to have to clear that right leg to finish that. Okay, all right, go ahead. Yeah, Matt Holmes looking to Very reverse heavy. his position. Front headlock sprawl by Bobby Galuzzi. Big shots to the side. Working that body. Into the back and start kicking his ass. Oh, nice shot. He nice knee. That. He did not like that. He's hating that. He said before, very strong, very, just, just very overwhelming with the, with the assistance and strikes. And now back to that guillotine slash mount position. Absolutely. But Matt Holmes doing a good job, though, of staying with it. There he is. Take down. Yeah, Bobby admonished there by referee Nate Jolly for holding the cage. Bobby's looking for that guillotine. He won't finish this with one arm, though, for sure. Yeah, get your right hand in, man. You can. Yeah, you can hear his cornerman actually tell him, get your right hand in. There, now you got it. Go, 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 go. You got it. Matt Holmes pops his head out. And you can hear uh, Matt Holmes' corner tell him to posture up. And what Bobby wants to do on the bottom here is he wants to keep Matt's head low so he can look for submissions. Okay. Matt knows this. He gets posture. Yeah, I don't think Matt wants any part of the uh, ground game of Bobby Galuzzi. No, no, it's strong. Hands up, Galuzzi. Bobby may get hurt there. Ooh. Oh, big kick. Nice knee. Matt Holmes looking for that plumb position, that Muay Top plumb position, looking for knees. Galuzzi persistent on the body. Yeah, it goes, goes, to, a single goes leg. to a single leg. Runs the pipe, very nice. To the left, move to the left. Yeah, now Bobby's going to look to clear that leg of a half guard. It's immediately what he does. Gonna have to get some sort of head control if he wants to pass that guard. Mark, it looks like he's going for a, uh, a head and arm choke here. He's yeah. got to clear the leg. Bobby has finished the fight with a head and arm choke, so it's no stranger as far as submissions for him. Uh, still in the half mount. He needs to get that leg clear to do anything from there to be dangerous. And he clears it. Clears it. Yeah, right in the mount position. Mount. He might be running out of time here. Can he finish him before the bell rings here? We've got about five seconds left. I think his head's a little too high. Yeah, Matt Holmes Matt going Holmes for the emergency. Yeah. yeah, Matt Holmes going for the emergency uh, uh, hold off there. And uh, yeah, Bobby just ran out of time. Good round though by both guys. Solid round, they both hurt each other. Body shot and head shot. Yeah, and let me clarify, in the amateur division, the state of Tennessee, um, fighters are not allowed to knee to the head. They're not allowed to knee to the head. So you heard Nate Jolly there tell both corners, uh, be careful with the knees. I think he saw a couple of those knees get a little bit high, um, getting close to, uh, to knee in the head. So again, that is illegal with the amateurs in Tennessee. Guys look a bit tired after that first round. Yeah, what do you think? What, what do you think Matt Holmes' uh, corner is telling him right now? I, yeah, I'm not sure, man. I'd say just breathe. You know, he took a really hard body shot, and Bobby stayed really, uh, uh, really focused on working the body shots where he knew he hurt him. So, uh, you know, I, I guess just relax and we'll see what happens in the second round. Yeah, and if you're Bobby's corner, what do you tell him? Uh, I'd say keep doing the same thing. You still get kicked in the head. <laughs> yeah, keep your hands up, right? Yeah. yeah. Matt Holmes said in his interview beforehand that he was looking for the kick to the head That's, to finish this fight. Right. So. Bobby coming, firing right away with combinations. Looks good. Double unders. Waist lock. Good position for Galuzzi. Matt Holmes showing good balance here, though. He's going to have to get a little more behind him if he wants to finish this takedown. Go forward, go forward. Kept, kept him up, though. Yeah, it did. There it is. Yeah, Bobby drags him down. Sit up. Sit right up into right Matt now. Holmes' guard. Sit up right now. Now, we haven't seen the full guard yet from Matt Holmes. This is the kind of full guard he has here. 
Looks active, but just not very strong from that position. Galuzzi's back on top. Yeah, yeah Bobby Galuzzi in the fourth quarter's position. Over under, it looks like he got a little high trying yeah. to take the back there. He's got low, look how heavy his hips are. I think he can just stay there and just work with that position, whether it's with uh, punches or, or if he wants to work something to the back for submission. He's very heavy, he's very dominating where he's at right now, which is good for position for Galuzzi. Good, stay there, keep doing that. Keep, keep doing that. Here's Corner saying keep doing that. He, there's no reason to leave this position, and he's back up. Yeah, Matt Holmes does a good job getting to his feet. You know, that's because Bobby let the pressure off of him. He, he, he basically let him get up. There's a, there's a knee from Bobby. Bobby, gotta be, he's got to be careful there. Yeah, absolutely. Back with the single leg, ran the pipe again. Looks very good. He needs to watch out for a triangle here. He's in a bad spot. If Matt Holmes can pull that arm up and free that right leg, he can finish a triangle here. And it looks like he's slowly closing it. Bobby needs to get out of there. Yeah, not a good position for Bobby Galuzzi. You know, a lot of fighters don't realize in MMA, when you get a takedown, you've got to clear your head first at the takedown. You can't go down with a guy with your head on him because you can get wrapped up in something like this in the triangle choke. Yeah, this is very dangerous. He's going to have to do something. He's going to have to either put his knee on that bottom leg of Matt Holmes and open up this position, or he certainly can't just stay there. All right, use your right hand on his foot. Use your right hand on Oh, never mind. All right, and he's out. Yeah, Bobby's free now. He passes the side position. He's got a minute left in the round. He's in a good position. He should just be patient and work from here. There's no reason to get over anxious and move. Yeah, if you can. With your legs, that'd be awesome. Yeah, his corners tell him to pin that left arm. Oh, looks like Bobby's going to go back to that head and arm choke again, possibly. That's exactly what he's, uh, he, he, he's looking for. He's going to have to try a better mount uh, transition than that to get there, though. It's you got 20 seconds. Yeah, and he could actually just take his left leg and step over. Yeah, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to clear the body. Yeah, I think he's gonna have to knee. slide the knee across the belly here. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, we find ourselves in the same exact situation we had ourselves in round one. Ten seconds left. Bobby trying to work for the head and arm choke. Matt Holmes hanging in there. All right, into the round. Another good round from Solid both round. guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've got Bobby so far winning both rounds. I agree. I agree. That one definitely decisively. Yeah, absolutely, and, and I think what, what Matt's going to have to do, I mean, if I was his corner man, I would tell Matt right now, look, man, you lost the first two rounds. You've got one round left. You have to finish this fight, whether that be come out with your head kick. I would say that's probably what he needs to do. He needs to keep the fight standing because it doesn't look like he's really um, doing too much on the ground against Bobby Galuzzi, although Bobby did put himself in that situation, that triangle uh, choke position, which Matt wasn't able to finish. Um, but uh, if you're the corner of Bobby Galuzzi, what are you going to tell him now? You're up two rounds, going to the third round. Where's your danger zone? What do you need to stay out of? I think he needs to keep doing the same thing. Take it to the ground if he can. He's very dominant there. Uh, Matt Holmes is going to have to keep the fight standing if he wants to win. He's, he's just he's getting out class on the ground by Bobby Galuzzi. Bobby's staying heavy. He's neutralizing his game. And, uh, even though he's not finishing, uh, he is controlling the fight from the ground. So I would advise Matt Holmes to stay away from that. Yeah, I think it looks like Bobby might be just a little bit tired. You know, that, that, that time away from training he had leading up to the fight because that injury, um, that probably took a little bit of a toll on him, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cardio. And this is a very physical fight. They're, they're both, you know, it's up and down. It's a very grueling fight right now. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a little sense of desperation here for Matt Holmes in this third round. So he needs to uh, he's come right out and uh, and assert his dominance. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think I'd maybe try another head kick or something because the ground's not going to do it. We're going Be interesting to see if Bobby looks to take it back down to the ground again. All right, again, we're back to the same position. Yeah, Bobby looked for a little like to lift and throw there. I don't think Matt Holmes had much of an answer for that. I mean, he's not just making a very obvious effort to defend any of those. Yeah, and Bobby does the right thing. He takes it right to the ground right away. I hope he's got the underhook. He's going to have to get on his side here, though. Being on his back has been doing good. Now that the cross face is there, and again, we're back to the mountain position, head and arm. Yeah, head and arm choking. And, and, you know, Bobby Galuzzi would probably be, be well served there to slide the knee over. Let's see, he's getting a little bit high with this mount. Now he slides yeah, the mount position. It. Now it's tight. Matt Holmes does a good job of bucking out of there. 
Full mount now by Bobby Galuzzi. I think Bobby needs to try and just pound away here to finish the fight. There you go. The mount that he's working right now doesn't allow him to posture up and throw punches very much. He needs to get a little bit higher with it. And there he goes. Yeah, I think he feels for Matt Holmes exactly this. Matt just bridging out of the position. Good chance for Matt Holmes to yeah, control now Matt, this fight. Yeah, now Matt Holmes is to take Bobby down. That's what Matt Holmes Ooh. needs to do. He needs to separate and throw punches. Well, <laughs> that's not working for him. Boxing Bobby doing what his nickname says. Right, uh, right. Call him boxing for a reason. <laughs> and he actually reminds me of those old school boxers, man. He just moves forward and keeps throwing <laughs> yeah. punches, you know? That, that's the prettiest of head movement, but he's throwing the whole yeah, time. Yeah, man. He just leans forward. Right. He goes straight ahead and he plows you over with punches. He's a crowd for Absolutely. Now Bobby's and staying active against the fence here. Yeah. Matt Holmes has got to understand the urgency to, to be more active in his position. He's, he's not going to this fight. Uh, just standing against the cage like this. Yeah, there's, there's that head kick. Cox and Bobby coming forward with big punches. Matt lands a good right. Bobby answers back. I think Matt Holmes might be a little tired from being, from being pummeled on the ground for so long. It's very exhausting being on the bottom that long. Very exhausting, but mentally and physically. Absolutely. Bobby again with the heavy hips, looking to go around and take the bat. Yeah, Matt Holmes shot from a little bit far away. They didn't really set that shot up. Bobby takes advantage of that. You know, I hear his, his corner calling for punches. Yeah, Bobby needs to get his, his hand free here and throw punches. There's a good strike. He's heavier on those hips. He wants to punches. It looks like Matt Holmes is a little bit fatigued here. Punch, punch, 20 seconds. It's a grueling, uh, grueling game of uh, Bobby Galuzzi. Just on top, small strikes, punches, very. There, there, yeah, there needs to be a sense of urgency crazy. here, though, with Matt Holmes. I mean, he's, he has very little tie of 10 seconds. I mean, tuck for a knee bar, do something to win this fight. Yeah, I, I think he's giving it everything. He's pretty, he looks pretty tired. Good fight. I think Bobby took that one. Yeah, good fight. Decisively. Good fight. The crowd liked that fight. Both guys gave it their all to the very end. Three rounds, good war by both guys. Both guys feeling the fatigue, as you can see. Um, but like you, Mark, I agree. I think that this is a unanimous decision Definitely. for Bobby all three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a judge's unanimous decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For your winner, fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee, boxing Bobby Galuzzi. All right, I'm here with your winner, Bobby Gluzzi. Bobby, you heard him early with a body shot. He followed up with a solid head kick. The, hey. the second and third round, you see that a bit on keeping it to the ground. Give me your thoughts on the fight and how it compared to any game plan you had coming in tonight. Uh, man, honestly, I, I'm not a good game planner. I just trained my nuts off and uh, come up ready to fight. Uh, my hat's off to Matt Holmes. That was a hell of a fight. and. Uh, you know, I, he, he called it in his post-fight, in his pre-fight interview. He said he's gonna kick me in the face. He sure did. Uh, so it was a good back and forth. You know, I think we both, we both had a high energy first round. And uh, as far as game planning goes, I didn't, I didn't mean to be here in the third round, honestly. So that was a bit of a surprise for me. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed it. Does anybody you wanna thank tonight from your training camp, your family and friends that are here tonight? I wanna thank uh, Joel, Joel Gingry, Alex Meadows, Dave Ferguson, the Miller brothers here, helping me get ready. I uh, couldn't do it without my team. Bobby Galuzzi, ladies and gentlemen. Don't say